Our team have received many questions about how food processing can affect the FODMAP content of foods. Here we have some well-known high FODMAP foods. We have assessed the effect of pickling to see if this will reduce the FODMAP content. Pickled artichoke, onion, beetroot and garlic all had significantly lower FODMAP content compared to the fresh variety. In fact, garlic, beetroot and onion all significantly reduced the FODMAP content from red to green for a standard serve when pickled. We have also measured the FODMAP content of various brands of canned and dried red kidney beans. We found that canning significantly reduced the FODMAP content compared to dried. We then tested the effect of cooking red kidney beans for various lengths of time. We found that cooking red kidney beans for 30 minutes instead of just 5 minutes significantly reduced the FODMAP content. Although it did not reduce the FODMAP rating, we do think it will likely help patient tolerance. Another area that we get a lot of questions about is the use of spelt and sourdough cultures. To make traditional sourdough spelt breads, the dough undergoes a long fermentation process. The sourdough culture breaks down the FODMAPs present in the dough. So this means that one serve of traditional sourdough spelt bread is low FODMAP. This graph shows the effect of the sourdough cultures lowering the FODMAP contents in spelt sourdough breads. These food processing techniques may be a way to help expand the low FODMAP diet and help patients tolerate foods better. Of all the techniques tested, pickling appears to have the best effect of lowering the FODMAP content in foods.